Dear guests, distinguished invitees, welcome to you all. Uh, first of all, we are, um, I'd like to express how happy we are to be holding this conference as the Antic Foundation with the Hamaskayn Foundation. And thanks are all to the Gulbenkian Foundation and the uh, Council of Sweden for their contributions. This building we're in is a former Armenian school that was operated by the Anaratotun Nuns Associations, one of the many, in fact. This Nuns Union served to educate the daughters of poor families so that they would also devote their lives to uh, religious life. And it's been established in 1840s Bedros, by Bedros Sunyan uh, IX, the Armenian Catholic Patriarch, and it's been put into practice by uh, the nuns. The central building is in Pera, Valdeceshme Street, and has served in education in kindergarten, primary, secondary, high and high school, and then in eastern cities, and uh, started working education efforts in over 20 cities in Kiliki as well. The Pangalte kindergarten was opened in 1903, and because the first building was very small, it's moved to this very building we're in in 1915. In the 60s, the school had hundreds of students, and in 2004, the school had to cease educational activities due to lack of students. And we've moved the Hranting Foundation to this building a hundred years after that, in 2015. And we are currently laying the groundwork for the Armenian Cultural Research Foundation here. In the centennial of the genocide, the then known as Genidia Street, on the night of April 24th, 1915, uh, many intellectuals were collected, as we found out by coincidence. With this weight of the past and memory, discussing the Armenian identity in Istanbul today, shows the importance and symbolizes the important point that Armenians have arrived with regards to debating their identity. The fact that the Armenian identity is being discussed here with, along with Turkish identity, is a contribution to losing the Armenian paranoia. My husband, Rant, uh, his, the title of his article that he was tried for for insulting Turkishness was about Armenian identity. And he had a series of writings where he discussed ident Armenian identity, and the subject of the lawsuit was the Turk's place. A poise focused on Turkish denialism poisoned the Armenian identity, and focusing on Turks recognizing the genocide delayed, and it was a loss of time, the Armenian awakening. Instead of that, the ancient Armenian society should lean on topics that would reignite its creationism. That was the subject of his writing. And Agos was established in 1996, and when Agos was only two months old, he wrote the following. Lyric, lyrical loneliness. As Demir Asaf said, loneliness cannot be shared. But then what it is that shared? Is it conviviality that is the biggest demonstrator of coexistence? Was it not the most obvious demonstration of that? That night there were two uh, important programs. First, uh, Yaraz's dance recitals. First, I stopped by there. And there are very few people in the room, but bravo to the children. They're doing the best they can without losing morale. The second stop is the open air theater. There's a great music festival, and how beautifully named Lyrical History.
the state protocol, foreign protocol, foreign and local press, and thousands of delegates from overseas have filled the amphitheater. And you can find everything in the program. All origins are there with their plays and musics that reflect centuries of histories. Turks, Turkish Greeks, Caucasians, all different but same values of the same garden. They create a great scenery on the stage and it's not possible not to get excited. But as the program moves forward, I get a bit choked because us Armenians are not in this garden. That is a shame. Have they not been able to find anybody? I would have, I wanted to shout that I would have gone up to the stage to sing. I think of Yeraz's children, how they were striving only a few, uh, very short distance away to add something to this common texture. Everybody is happy in the crowd, but I, I am alone. Now I walk with broken steps, lines of poems falling from my lips. And my steps keep pace to the verses of the poem. I am your servant, you are my creator, says Nikolaus. Uh, I don't know where in this life is joy, says Nihanjian. In the G flat. Wishes of my nose, and then I. Kemani says, the violinist Sarkis Sujuan says, I don't complain to anyone and I weep for my state. Now, what should we do? Should we tell those who exclude us that Armenians have made great contributions to this country in music, arts, theater. Should we start all over to tell them again? Of course we will, and without tiring. But first, let us share my lyrical loneliness. Yes, humanity has been crushed under the evil and the presence of death, but it continues to exist, and it shall do so. Hope, faith, and particularly love should be preserved, and this is our duty to live as such. Nobody can choose their parents or their race. They find themselves born into that. But everything that happens in nature and in our surroundings affect us along with that, or wants to affect us. From the attitudes, behaviors, and approaches of those who raise us, we are affected. We take basis. Some of the elements that constitute our identity, what we will believe, where and how we will live, we can choose those, but no identity should not belittle, insult, or hate the other identity. It doesn't have the right. Carrying the responsibility of our identity, bearing and understanding our past, and adding honor to our future, to create a propelling force to do that, is in our hands and also it is our choice to live with anger or without it. In the next two days, we will discuss the behaviors and perceptions and the positive and ne negative effects thereof of our behaviors which are particular or not particular to us Armenians. The Anuratintun building where once Armenian children ran and played and received education, trying to understand our Armenian identity here and to hear from you esteemed academicians, your researchers, and to discover how 
most robustly we will we can carry this identity in the future discussing these topics will add uh, great things to each and every one of us armenian turkish kurdish caucasian jewish assyrian turkish greeks to all those who break the loneliness on this land thank you and i wish you all a very fruitful conference <laughs>